Hello, my name is Daniel Gomes and I'm going to present a survey about web archiving initiatives. One year from now, 80% of the web pages available today will have disappeared or been changed. The consequence is that users, when trying to access information, most of the times this information is no longer available. So many times a user finds interesting results from a search engine but when he tries to, to access this information he gets an error message, message such as one of these that is present on, on this slide and he cannot access the information that he desired. There are no reasons in, at all in theory for people to change URIs or stop maintaining documents but millions of reasons in practice. Tim Berners-Lee 1998. This sentence is still valid in our days. So, the web is a primary source of information, but its information is extremely ephemeral. So, what can you do about this problem? The same that we did with printed media. We can archive it. So, what was the motivation for our survey about web archiving initiatives? The first one was that people need to know web archives so that they can use them. The second one is that web archivists need to know each other so that they can work together. Most of all, web, arch web archivists need to know some basic information such as estimations for costs, uh, required human resources, or who could be partners, who could be the partners to create a new web archiving initiative. So our objective was to derive an updated portrait, portrait of web archiving initiatives worldwide. So our methodology was to create, was to make three questions and send them to web archivists worldwide. We wanted to know what was the name of the web archiving initiative, which was the amount of data that it held, and how many people worked at the web archive. Then we, create, we also opened a space, open room, to make, uh, so that the web archivists could make any addition, additional comments that they feel like. We disseminated this questionnaire to our website and to the web archiving mailing lists and to social networks. Then we interacted with the respondents by email. We wanted to more wanted to more to more sorry, we wanted to know more their numbers. We also wanted to know our our colleagues and also their, their concerns. We obtained 33 direct answers to our questionnaire. We also checked the the Web Archiving Initiative's websites and publications. So the main results that we obtained was that web archiving is growing. So in 2010 there are 42 web archiving initiatives worldwide. Um, the first one uh, and uh, the largest one is the Internet Archive that collects information worldwide. It begins in 1996. However, there are small, some small, many small, smaller scale uh, initiatives, such as, for instance, the Web Archive of Kaka, created in, in 2009, um, that is a, a city in Serbia. That is the Web Archive of a city in, in, of Serbia. So this map presents a geographical location of Web Archiving initiatives. We can see that the large majority of them, of the countries, host at most two initiatives. One exception for this is that the, the, is the, United, are the United States that hosted by themselves eight web archiving initiatives. We can see that 62% of, of the web archiving initiatives are hosted on the, on the developed country, uh, or at least that is me a member of the OECD. 80% of the web archiving initiatives hold content exclusively related to their country. So web archiving teams are typically small. They are composed by a medium of 2.5 full-time employees and two part-time uh, part, part employees. Um, one interesting fact is that 26% of the initiatives don't have any full-time employee. The teams are mainly composed by librarians and IT engineers. So in 2010, at least 277 people worked worldwide to preserve the web uh, since its inception. This contrasts with, uh, for instance, 
the number of people that Google employs to provide um, access to the current web, which is 24,000 people. Web archives host different uh, sizes of collections. We can see that 81% of, of, um, of the web archives hold less than 100 terabytes of data and less than and typically less than 1 million contents. If we, if we um, reflect on these numbers, we can see that um, this, this means that uh, web archives are typically small. If because the, the web data is typically very large. Um, the average content size varies according to collection characteristics. So collections that are typically composed by textual contents tend to be smaller, while other ones, for instance, that old multimedia contents, tend to be larger. But storing information is not enough. The archived information must must be um, accessible to people so that it can be useful. Uh, we observed that 60% of the web archiving initiatives they support full text search, but only half of them, only half of, of the um, of the web archiving initiatives provide full online access to contents. 38% restrict access to archive data. Some web archiving initiatives they provide access only to metadata while others, they provide access to the archived contents for research purpose exclusively. Uh, other web archiving initiatives, they provide access through special rooms in their facilities. Food for thought. If a content was published on the web, should its access, access be restricted when it becomes a part of history? Maintaining the accessibility level of the contents archived from the web is mandatory to make web archives useful to all citizens. Technologies. So, 62% um, of the web archiving initiatives, they use um, internet archive access tools. These are tools that are, these are open source tools that are um, freely available through SourceForge. Um, they mostly use er the Eritrix crawler for harvesting information from the web and Netrex and Wayback Machine to provide search and access services. However, full text search, search uh, is several times mentioned as not being satisfactory. The main problem with all these results is that, is that this soon they'll, be, they'll become obsolete. So our most important contribution was that we summarized all of them in a Wikipedia page named List of Web Archiving Initiatives so that it can be actively and collaboratively maintained up to date by the community. We received uh, very good feedback from the community. So after we published the page a few months, uh, three months after, we, we observed that the, the information about 25 initiatives was uh, updated. Um, in August 2011, there were f uh, the, this, this, this Wikipedia page listed um, 49 web archiving initiatives. So these are seven more that we initially identified in our study. Um, one interesting fact is that uh, there are seven uh, web archiving commercial services, and three of them were created are new ones that were created in 2010. So this is a good in indicative of the growing importance of web archiving. To conclude, web archiving is, is useful to everyone. Web archiving is worldwide and we must support web archiving initiatives. If you want to learn more, please feel free to, to contact me or to access our website at archive.pt. Thank you for your attention.